We're going to work our way through lesson eight in module three, where we're multiplying a three digit number times a one digit number. And we're going to be doing with place value disks and the partial product method like we did in lesson seven. But there we focused on two digit numbers. So you need to have your problem set in front of you and we will take a look through it together. So we are going to take a look at number two if you or excuse me one b if you look at one a one times 213 i don't think anybody really needs to show that with place value discs or taking that one step at a time so we're going to focus on part b two times 213. so i'll show mine on the screen and you will watch me do it and then complete it on your own so if you look, we're multiplying 2 times 213, and I'm going to go ahead and represent that over here to the side for my partial products. I'll put 213 and times 2 on the bottom, and we'll come over there and solve that with partial products in a moment. 2 times 213 means that I have 200. 110 and three ones, and I have that two times. So I'll represent that two times. And then I look at my place value chart and attempt to do any bundling that I can do. In the ones place, there's only six ones, so no bundling. Tens place, there are two tens. And hundreds place, there are four hundreds. So no bundling necessary for this problem. If I solve this using partial products, we can think about our 213 as being made up of a 200 and a 10 and a 3. We're going to need to take each of those parts times our other factor of 2. So I'll start by doing 2 times 3, and we'll list that off to the side. And you can go ahead and solve that, or you could list the problems that you're going to be solving. Either way is fine. I'm going to go ahead and solve it and write 6. Then I'm going to take that 2 in the 1's place, and I'm going to multiply it by the 1, but we have to remember that's not really a 1, it's a 10. So 2 times 10 is 20. And finally, 2 times this 2, that isn't really a 2 at all, it's 200. 2 times 200 is 400. Now I'll take my partial products. Sorry, those zeros are a little sloppy with me writing with my finger. Those partial products and add them together. So we get a 6, a 2, and a 4. So 426, just like we thought we would using our place value chart. If I do the same thing for letter C, 214. And we're multiplying that by 3. So I need to show 214. Three times. Now I'm going to try to bundle. So I'm going to need to bundle by making groups of 10. So I will start in my ones place. I see that I have 4, 8, 12 ones. So I'm going to take 10 of them, bundle, and trade it in for a 10. And one of them got a little bit overlapped by my bundle, but I was left with two ones. In the tens place, I see one, two, three, four of those tens. And in the hundreds place, I see two, four, six of those hundreds. So we're going to go ahead and take 214 times three. And we'll do three times four. Three times the ten. And three times the two hundred. So we know 3 times 4 is 12. Change to a different color, make this a little bit easier to see. So 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times the 10 is 30. And 3 times 200 is 600. I'm a little short on room, but if I add those together, I get a 2 and a 4. And a 6, 642, which is exactly what we got on our place value chart. If you are feeling confident to go ahead and do the rest on your own, 
that's fine. You can check in with me uh, a little bit later. Otherwise, uh, you can stick with me and we'll take a look at the back of your paper. So let's take a look at letter D. This time, we are going to show 1,254, and we're going to be doing that three times. 1,254. That did not show up as well as it could. So let's try that again. Okay, and we need to do that three times. To do our bundling, let's switch to a different color. So starting in the ones place, I see four, eight, twelve ones. I will bundle ten of those, bring it over as a ten. I have only two ones left. In my tens place, I count five, ten, fifteen, plus one more makes sixteen. I'll bundle ten of those, bring it over as a hundred, and that left me with six tens. In my hundreds place, I see two, four, six, seven. No way to bundle those. And in my thousands, I have three. So I see 3,762. Using the partial product method, 1,254 times three. And I think you've probably realized that this one is going to have four steps off to the side that we are solving, four partial products that we will then need to add together to get our final answer. So, Taking a look at these steps, let's go ahead and solve 3 times 4, then 3 times the 5 that's worth 50, 3 times 200, and 3 times 1,000. So 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 50 is 3 times 5 with a 0, so 150. 3 times 200 is 600, and 3 times 1,000 is 3,000, and hopefully yours looks a lot neater than mine. Adding those up, I have 2, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, and 3 plus nothing is 3. 3,762, exactly what we have here. So. When you go to number two, you are going to either use the place value disks if you choose, or you can use partial products. It says to do both, but I'm confident that you could go ahead and just go straight to partial products if you choose. And you're going to try 2A, B, C, and D. Take a look with me at number three, and then you can go back and try those. Number three, every day at the bagel factory, Cindy makes five different kinds of bagels. If she makes 144 of each kind, what is the total number of bagels that she makes? She makes five, try erasing that so it's a little neater. She makes five kinds and 144 of each. So five groups of 144. And I'm not sure how to do that in my head, so I'm going to go ahead and set it up with 144 on top times 5 below. And I'll use my partial products method to figure it out. I'll be doing 5 times 4, 5 times 40, and 5 times 100. So we know 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 40 is 200. And 5 times 100 is 500. So I think my final answer is going to be a 0 and a 2 and a 7. 
So I believe it is 720. And our label, of course, will be bagels. All right, go ahead and see what you can do with the ones that we didn't do together. Check your answers against my answer key. And let me know if you have questions.